Welcome to Moments of Truth Podcast, where curiosity meets conversation. I am your host, Omar Himeri, and with me are... I'm Agatha Angor, Omar Himeri. And I'm David Wanek, and I'm Well, today, we have one of the spectacular men in a boy in state on our podcast, and of course, we'll be deliberating on certain issues. He's an honorable and a great man in a boy in state. This person we're talking about is no other person than the SA to the Governor on Culture and Tourism by person. Honorable Kamani Stanley. Let's get to meet him. Welcome on the show, sir. Maybe Thank meet you. you. Kamani Stanley by name. I say to the governor on culture and tourism. Welcome once again, sir. Thank you. As a very young and vibrant man who is so intelligent, had ambitions, and of course, gone through your track record and seen the things you did immediately, went in school and immediately you were off the school. So what's prompted you and diverted your vision into politics as a vibrant young man who had other aspirations. And from the look of things, it's more like you are comfortable and you want to do more in politics. So what prompted you into politics? Basically, I have always lost political um, things or politics in mind. Even university, secondary school. You know, uh, my secondary school, I was uh, a social prefect. Yeah. Then uh, my university days, secondary, secondary, secondary school. Wow. Yeah. In uh, university days, I was a class chef from my final, from my year one, yeah, to my finals, yeah. second um, first semester final year, yeah? and at that same period, I was uh, a chief judge. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even when you were not a law student. Yes, yes, in my yes, faculty. Yes, yeah, faculty. Okay, okay, yes, okay. Faculty. Inside the yeah. faculty, yeah. Yes, I was a faculty okay. chief judge. Okay. And uh, even in a um, forum of uh, class reps, I was in charge of Isheke oh and um, campsite access. Yes. At that same point, we had the Bonny South Students Forum. Yes. Wow. yes, which I was uh, president of the forum. So you, your political career didn't just pass Yeah, the and there is with this um, group. Yeah. yeah, and there is this team, one belly. Yes, <laughs> that sounds. Yes, that sounds funny. We had um, Aliu Defa, who is now a uh, PDP zonal chairman, as uh, one of the patrons. Then, you know, he was actually part of us. Then, when we were in a uh, PDP, and uh, we have the former governor was also the grand patron of this one belly. Yeah. We have yeah. people like Abino Malaki. If you know Abino, yeah. he's also, yes, he was the uh, chairman of the forum. Wow. Then, Ojo Obasi, John Obasi. Kompa, you know Kompa, mm -hmm. some of us. Then later, I became the chairman of the forum too. In one belly. In one belly, yes. I was there. Uh, yeah, it sounds funny, but it was a <laughs> student political honestly, group yeah. that was hitting yeah. hard. Now, during a 2014 election, that group participated so well. In fact, they were the major people that formed a Boyne Youth Alliance. Mm -hmm. The leader then was... Uh, a guy from Onisha local government, a very vibrant guy, later became essay to the former governor of um, uh, Anambra State. This one Bele has produced great mm. political yeah. existence. Uh, yeah, but on a very low. Mm. Yes, and that's why I believe some of you didn't get to meet them because then you have strong men. You understand that's part of uh, the game. So it's not just now. I've always loved politics. So it's been there. And you're getting there. Yes, and you're getting there. So based on what you said, it's not today. Okay, that's, that's interesting. And um, of course, you know, we've, we've had some things about how he got involved in some other things that were not directly um, political. Like the Igbo cinema, I think yeah. I saw that in the timeline or something, and I eventually saw. I was surprised when I saw himself, Pet Igochi, such a kind of figure, okay. and all that. So, and you were even 
interested in going out of your office because I, I don't think that's. I think he's in his office. Okay. He's, he's in my office. office. Oh, 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 right. So he's doing that and all, and I think there should be a motivating factor for you. Yeah, between that. The truth is that um, we have this governor who likes uh, bringing out anything good from any young uh, uh, person here. And um, we are all following his footstep. Uh, firstly, that's uh, Ibo Silima thing, or is an idea better by one Ike AK. You see, so we, the Ministry of Culture and Tourism, and the Office of His Excellency and that of Her Excellency, had to put effort in making him come to the limelight. And that's why we participated so well in making it happen. So sure. it is. It was not basically me. It was not basically me. It was basically um, work done by Ebony State Government to make our own come out well. It's better. Yes, and that's better. Okay. Yeah. So you also had talents like Peti Uche, Mama G, Chachaike, and so many industry successful people come into the states to commission the Igbo cinema. Uh, I don't know if you have plans of import because I know there are talented um, actors and yeah, actresses yeah. in a boy state. And there was also a program that I think Women's Day where we brought in was is he Cha Cha AK Angelo Curry. Yes, Angelo Curry. So I don't know if you have any plans of bringing this young Ebony um talented actors, actors and musicians yeah. to the yes, as in to into this like channeling them to the Nollywood or the music. Okay, industry. are you basically talking about the ones that have not um, uh, grown to the level of these persons you yes, mentioned? Yes. 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 Uh, the truth is that, um, as I said earlier, the governor is interested in everybody in these states, including the indigents and non-indigents. Now, he is very interested in making everybody become that which you want. Now, when you come to entertainment sector, you actually want to bring out the best. Ev everything you have, Beautiful. he wants you to bring it out. So there is hope for entertainers in everyone. Wow. And wow. that is the reason why you are seeing all these people coming in now. So we, the governor gave every of them enabling environment to show their face here. Okay. So, and that's why you're seeing them here often, always. You know, I'm No, but that's not a problem. Yeah. If you have a talent, yeah. just be rest assured. You have to showcase that, one. <laughs> yes, so you can showcase one and you'll see His Excellency take over. Now, that's everywhere. When you come to academic sector, yes, he's fine doing fine. fine. You, you're seeing it. Yeah. Scholarships, sending yes. people abroad, yes. studying here, yes. and all of that. That okay. is very massive. Then you come to civil. In fact, he loves everybody in this state. For him, he wished to do everything for everybody, even though it is not possible. Definitely. So the entertainment world is just going to enjoy everyone. Oh, all right, sir. Um, sorry, I just saw one of your portraits with Tim Comrade. I just said, okay, he's actually a comrade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, what kind of comrade? What's a comrade? I almost said this, almost said that. <laughs> yes. You know, in uh, one certain time, after my school days, we formed what uh, a group called a Money Club Walk. The last one that was. Yes. I think for you guys, you might not know about it because then you might be in either year one. No, not even in year one. What you is? might. Yes. <laughs> I was with three of them. Which three of them? I think I heard about the clockwork. Is yes. <laughs> about a clockwork came before the Chicago White Card movement. And that time it was basically uh, covering students. That's about a clockwork. At the time, we used that team to assist in paying of bursary. How is that paid? Is it paid? So many local governments. Yeah, yeah. So it is. It is. It is. It is possible 
we weren't informed. Yes, she did not register. But for here, since this man came in, okay, since he came in, came in. yeah, even so in last dispensation, uh -huh. yes, now was rapid. I was rapid. Just say you so don't register. So you just say we weren't informed. He heard about it, but, but he was not involved. He did not register. Once you register, you will be. Because I was almost out of school or something. That should be the case. part of the criterion. So, sir, I don't know what great mistake have you vowed not to repeat at all costs? Ah, that's a very <laughs> deep <different> question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a very deep one. Uh, this is an honest podcast. Yeah. Yes. Moment of truth. <laughs> Moment of truth. Can I even remember one? <laughs> 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 he has to think about it because he does <laughs> Yes, I'm, I'm thinking, thinking so deep. I think before he comes to conclusion, because there could be many of the options that he wants. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get, I've made several mistakes in life, yeah. you know, and that, that brings me to where I am now, yeah? That helps you most. Like, if you have the opportunity, you wouldn't yes, do this you, you by all means. Yes, yeah, yeah. Or you don't want it to happen again. It could be your political endeavor. No, not telling you. It's going to be personal. It's going to be personal. It's going to be emotional. I'm thinking. It's very difficult for me to remember. There is, yeah, the reason being that um, not like I don't make mistakes, but before I venture into anything, I think twice. So even if it's a mistake, so long as I have determined to go into that, I will say it's not a mistake. You don't understand. And that's how I get to my mind. So you like you don't carry grudges of pain or no, something that no, you I don't. Done. I don't. Yeah. But the truth still remains that we've made several mistakes yes. in life. But for me to remember a particular one that is yes. very hard. I understand. If you have to change one, a mistake that you've done, that you are, if the clock should go back, you're not, you're not going to repeat the game. You're going to change it. What would that be? <laughs> Sincerely, that's very difficult for me to answer. Okay. Uh, yes, you know, some things can uh, be off camera. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, think I, I think it's important that we talk about this. You know, over time, people make decisions, create core values, and do all of those things. And when in pursuit of your political, personal, or academic, um, Area that, especially as a married person, there's a place where you get to where there are some you now have lapses. You are doing well in politics, but there's a loss in your academics. You are doing well in politics, but your family you can't just strike a balance. So, what are the things you are putting in there to make sure that your political life doesn't conflict or cause lapses in probably your personal? You have a life outside politics. So that you still take care of your family, your kids, and when it comes to some other areas of your like life, religion, there is just yeah, religion, a balance. Checks and balance. The truth is that you can't be perfect in all. Yeah. That is number one. Secondly, if you carry everything on your head, you have problem. And at that point, this one will be affecting the other one. The other one will be affecting the other yeah. one. So what you just need to do is to check things, do everything at the time it's supposed to be. Yes, I have my business. I have my political career. I have my family. Yes. But I only try by balancing them. When it's time for this, I do this. Time for my exercise, I do that. Time for my family, I do that. Time for my political thing, I do that. And time, there's time for everything. Yeah, not to talk, that's always time. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what woman of God, God, there's time for everything. <laughs> there is time for family. You know, even though the pursuit for money can affect your family time, you understand. 
Yeah, because um, my boss cannot call me. And my wife is calling me now. I need to answer my boss and rush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> now, yeah. Ahala, now. <laughs> If I don't go answer my boss, they come for shoot me for work. My I wife. Know, for me. If you are the wife and like in this position, and this is the most, you must, you must have to understand because you must use money to keep the family going. Now you know there is some some little issues that I used to understand about people. They lie to themselves. Thank you. You see money. You can't remove it from anything. Even churches. Yes. Even church. That is to say that God needs money. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. Now, <laughs> how, now, hold on, hold on. How do you circulate the gospel if oh, there is no money? Yeah, it's true. You are not dressed. Now, if you want to go establish a church inside Odumoke village, Okay. You will not trek to that place. You must raise, raise funds. You must dress. You must eat. Except if you are on fast. So money is needed. For instance, if you need this girl and you don't have money, <laughs> if she don't, if this guy doesn't have money. If this guy doesn't have money, it's an assumption. Have, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to explain something, and he needs you, and you also need this girl now. Oh, she has money. Or you have money. Now, uh, hold on. The truth remains that this person has a better chance of getting this girl than this one. No, 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 hold on. I am not saying love doesn't have a role to play. Yes, but the truth remains that it is possible this girl will not know that this guy loves him more yes. than you. Yes. Why? He, she needs food to eat. Yes. This guy doesn't have money to give this girl food. Probably he used to go out to look for his daily bread. Coming back, he comes back with one little thing like that. And you, you just relax. Hey, babe. Um, 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 I know, I know, I know you're hungry. Can you just go to um, crunches and eat something? Pick anything you want. Pick anything you want. Yeah. Now, that doesn't mean love doesn't exist or has no role to play in this. You get? But the truth is, his own might just be like, it's not real. Yeah. But yours will now look real. Yeah. You get? That yeah. doesn't mean you can't date someone that is just starting. That yes, you can love someone that is The greeting of a poor man is an insult. So at the tail end of the whole thing, you will now start feeling that this guy loves him more. Yeah. But it is possible that it's this person that, that loves him. More. And, then this one is and that's the nature of the um, uh, uh, things we see now. Yes. Are you seeing it? Yeah. You can't assist me to eat. And I am very hungry. This one is assisting me to eat. I would start feeling that it's this person that actually cares about me anymore. But I'm just, it's possible that this person is just using his money to entice me. And this one is busy writing <laughs> text messages. <laughs> <laughs> I get depressed, of course. I get depressed. At some point, this guy might actually talk kind to love him. At some point, you just have to be lying to this guy. Yeah. yeah. And somewhere for the weekend. Yes, yeah, so so like get some Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's bad. It's like yeah. that. So you that's bad. Yeah. Yeah. So that's but the truth, the truth is, if you see vision in this person, yeah. you know, women can see vision in someone yes. very well. If you see vision in this person and you know that this guy is actually, um, uh, he, he has a good feature, yeah. you'll be oh, successful. Yeah. You see, you will now, some girls, they will be playing this one. And be loving this one. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. But you see a face, but this one eventually finds But well, at the tail end, you still discover that money is important in everything. Everybody knows. In everything. 
he actually, she actually knew that this guy will make it in the future. So I she's just enduring to, to eat me. that money tomorrow. Yeah. But, but at the moment... This one now. Ah! <laughs> you guys are bad. Yes. Okay, so I have one more question for you. All right. Based on your office, yes. We understand more that, important. We understand that you've been trying to a reasonable extent. Thank you. To you. this office to the next level. Thank you. Trying. And we, as the youth, we should anticipate from your office in the nearest time. Like we know that this this city of France is, is really looking out for the youth. And for from your office. What are we to be expecting? What are we expecting from this office? Is it yes, allowance so. every month? Uh, 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 well, what other thing will you do? You that will be bringing to the devil. Oh, you think that's a job? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying, right? Yes, I understand perfectly. The truth is, as I earlier stated, that the governor has plenty things packed for you people. We, the youths. So you anticipate something good look out there for something very see if you have good ideas for yourself if you have good things to offer just know you've made it so long as this state is concerned so, to so you bring it up as i said earlier before you uh, joined the program i told them that the governor has plenty of things for us and for the fact is like that, anything you have that is going to bring to the success of this state, bring it up. The governor will support you. Now, on that same ground, for yourself, because he's interested in making you bring out something good, he's interested in making you what you want. He's interested in making you grow. He's interested in making you get money. He's interested in making you smile. So we we'll have plenty things for you. Plenty things for you. So relax, chill, and see that it we happen. Should, we should place our hope on the people's chapter of need. Exactly. <laughs> that brings us back to people's chapter of need. Okay. That shows that, yes, he's just interested in everything about us. Everything about us. Thank you so much. Thank you. You've, um, you've given us brilliant answers to the questions we've brought to your table. And thank you for giving us this opportunity to have this wonderful interactive session. We've tapped and we've learned from, from what you've said. Before you conclude, you didn't even talk about um, our current sites oh. and um, a whole lot of them. I think I've seen one of your pictures at Ndibe Beach. Yeah, yeah, tourists. Yes, we we'll have uh, so, many, so many of them. Yes, we we'll have uh, Ndibe Beach, as of earlier, as I've earlier stated. We we'll have uh, Salt Lake. Mine. Yes, um, a whole lot of people cause it's mini mine. Mm -hmm. Yes, in that place uh, we see a whole lot of pain, and we discover that only women enter that water. Mm -hmm. get, mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. women, women. You know, that's where you see natural salts. You see it in almost you see it in Ubu. You see, and uh, you know we have our amusement park here. Yes, um, as God may have it, in few. Uh, months from now, work will start in NSK and um, renovation and all those things. And, so apart know. from that, in the beach and this and this, there are also um, beautiful sites we have in the world state that those works. Oh, are you talking about Amancho Cave? Yes, those caves. Like, yes, we have Amancho Cave. Those places are beautiful. Yes. What are you going to work in your office? What yeah. are you going to do? We are, we are getting ready for those places. Very soon, we'll be hosting shows there. Mm -hmm. no, yes, and uh, yes, we'll be hosting shows there. In fact, the last time I discussed with the commissioner, he has plenty plans for us there too. Wow. You see, so very soon, 
will start visiting there always. The place will be busy always. Maybe next time we we'll talk more about our tourist sites. Okay. Yes. But for today, we we'll stop here. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. It's really our pleasure. Meanwhile, don't forget to follow us on our Facebook handle, Moments of Truth. Thank you.